Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors, Amazon and Trend Micro. Okay, welcome back everyone. You're watching theCUBE. We are live here, day one of Amazon reInvent. This is our wrap up and I'm here with Jeff Kelly. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Valley. And Jeff Kelly, my co-host, the Stu Miniman, who is not here in this segment from Wikibon. And theCUBE would not be here if it wasn't possible for our sponsorship and support from Amazon Web Services Group, as well as Trend Micro. So big shout out for those guys for supporting our passion, going out to the events and extracting the signal noise. We really appreciate it, and we bring all this hard work and interviews, which we love to do. Thanks to Trend Micro. Guys, go out there and check them out and give them a shout out yourselves. So I'm here with Jeff Kelly. Jeff, let's just go quick through the rundown. Quick sure. wrap, we got to get the lights getting turned out on us. Enterprise, Aurora Database. Aurora Database. Um, more services. We just had Ryan on from, uh, from the VC world. He's saying, the past layer is tough. Ryan Floyd with Storm Ventures. It's tough to get in there and own that stack. There's a lock-in effect, so there's a real antithesis to lock-in, but yet people love the APIs. What's your take? Uh, lock-in is one of those things, no enterprise likes that. Um, you, know, you, you could argue that essentially, you know, pass is one of those terms, how do you, how do you define it? But uh, the bottom line is, developers love working on AWS. It provides them with a lot of uh, the tools that they need to deliver new applications. We're seeing it from you know, all the startups that are at the show, 13,000 people at this show. Um, not just startups though, we're seeing enterprises uh, in a number of spaces, not just kind of the digital space, we're seeing uh, manufacturing companies, we're seeing healthcare companies, we're seeing retailers. So, you know, this is, you know, AWS is a juggernaut right now. Um, you know, they are just rolling out services. You know, with introducing something like Aurora, they are taking on, basically my take is, if you're a partner of AWS, delivering services on top of AWS, nobody's safe. AWS is going to keep innovating and they're going to push you and they're going to eat your lunch unless you continue to innovate as well. Um, they're doing it down in the database space, they've done it in other areas around big data that I focus on, but they've done it in things like desktop virtualization, uh, any number of areas. So, um, that's, that's the thing with AWS, well, they're they big keep enough, pushing their partners. They're, if they're big enough, they'll take your lunch away from you. Mm -hmm. But what's happening in a, in a platform like an operating system like Amazon, what they are, there's white spaces. And so I think the rules of engagement right now are, there's a lot of money being made, there's a lot of white spaces for partnerships, so that's clear. Obviously what you're seeing on the services side is pretty significant. Amazon can commoditize the platform without even owning anything. So mm -hmm. I think that's a great opportunity. I do want to get your perspective about uh, the government business. We have the, the intelligence community, we had Teresa Carlson on, um, that is a pretty amazing deal. Basically, it's a private cloud mm -hmm. of Amazon for well, the government. If you, when you, I think when you see that, I mean, then there's a reason that they're, um, you know, they, they want to talk about that. I mean, look, if, if, the, if the CIA, if other uh, agencies are willing to move to AWS, there's really no reason, there's no, there's no legitimate reason a, an enterprise can say we, it doesn't have the required security. What do you think? Well. Well, Jeff, here's my take. I think right now the marketplace for entrepreneurship is hot, right? So what you're seeing here, we had Ryan on, Ryan Floyd from Storm Ventures. We, Jerry Chen's going to be on tomorrow, trying to get Ping Lee from Excel to come on. Uh, maybe Frank Artale from Ignition. Um, they all would agree with me and, and, and would say, there are bets to be made. But as Ryan pointed out is, if your investment thesis can't be nailed down, it's hard for him to identify where companies can be successful in Amazon, because it's too unknown, it's too risky, but he's betting on OpenStack. So you can see, clearly see the bets are in, are in OpenStack. Amazon really needs to look at that as a real blind spot. I think Andy Jassy should look at the capital markets and say, hey, if the venture capital's going to bet against you, not with you, then you should rethink your execution plan because now you have new stakeholders. So that's good. That's my observation from today is, is that Amazon's a freight train rolling down. They're a tsunami. They're going to take the beachhead. Their secretary is running away with it. They're the big wave coming in. So to me, Amazon's winning. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. um, we're excited to bring the coverage to you, Jeff, covering all the big data. Stu's out getting all the data on the ground, doing meetings. And we're going to be back tomorrow live at 10.30 a.m. on theCUBE here. And in the morning we'll be covering the keynotes on siliconangle.tv, live.siliconangle.tv. But again, the story's the same here. 
the Amazon's just winning, they continue to do that. Andy Jassy did an amazing job on the keynote today. I thought he came across very professional, very much on task. He had to deliver a boatload of news, and he had two amazing uh, keynotes, I thought, MLB yep. and Curing Cancer. So showing entertainment, lifestyle, innovation, and then innovation that saves lives. So to me, I thought that was a, a, a job done, well done by Andy Jassy. Uh, Jeff, thanks for coming today and helping us here. Let's do Miniman, thanks to the team. You're watching live here, we'll see you tomorrow at 10.30, this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Kelly, thanks for watching.